Welcome to the Blue Planet MPLS Network Automation Solution demonstration of automated TE tunnel design and provisioning. After setting the stage, we will show and describe to you the intelligent order to service automation functions that will drastically accelerate delivery of new VPN services or network slices that are based on the performance provided by MPLS TE tunnels. MPLS VPNs constructed using traffic engineered tunnels are key to supporting current enterprise IP and Ethernet service revenues as well as providing the underpinnings of new high growth services. High quality delivery of service provider IP based video services, 4G LTE mobile backhaul, and the plethora of low latency, high bandwidth, or high reliability 5G based services enabled by network slicing are some of the IP applications that rely on IP VPNs with TE tunnel transport. In order to simplify the network and increase its performance and efficiency, Operators are turning to segment routing to traffic engineer the tunnels that provide these VPNs. These trends mean that automated tunnel engineering and provisioning will be key to service agility and efficiency. The Blue Planet MPLS network automation solution allows you to accurately engineer and provision RFSBPTE or segment routed tunnels in minutes rather than days or weeks, thereby accelerating the revenues generated by the VPN or IP communication services they support. The solution provides state-of-the-art technology that automates the discovery of multi-vendor IP MPLS and optical networks, correlates the IP paths and MPLS tunnels with the optical transport network, and constantly monitors its current state by peering with the routed network. It performs RSVP, TE, and segment routing path computation, taking into account optical shared risk link groups and other constraints and provisions those tunnels into the multi-vendor networks a set of resource adapters, or RAs, that abstract vendor-specific device models and management interfaces. In the following demo, my colleague will use the Blue Planet Web UI to show the discovered network, create a new TE tunnel service catalog entry, and then create a new RS3P TE tunnel to support the customer's VPN service. The same process would be used for network supporting segment routing. This is a layer three topology that we're visualizing here. Each of the routers is running ISIS, and we're collecting that information using ROA by listening to the routing protocol. So in this case, we form an adjacency with a router in this topology, and it listens to the ISIS information there. This topology is also capable of having RSVPT tunnels configured on it. In general, we use various methods to collect the information. So for a Cisco network, we generally use CLI commands. For Juniper, we use Junos commands. For other vendors, we'll use either SNMP or API commands to collect the information from the topology. So in this case, you can see it's an ISIS level two router. That's the information we're collecting from the routing protocols. Using the CLI commands, we get information like the serial number, interfaces, and we also get information from RSVPTE tunnels that are configured on the system. In this case, we see there are no head end tunnels, no midpoint tunnels, no tail end tunnels within the network. So currently there are no tunnels that are going through this MUM router. We can see more details about that. Clicking on technologies, traffic engineering, gives us a full list of all the tunnels within the topology. So in this case, there are no tunnels configured in here. And our goal today is to be able to configure an RSVP TE tunnel that will take some of the traffic out of the Mumbai router and redirect it to the Gogan router. We have excess capacity there, so that's where we want to send this traffic. In the services, we have the capability of creating service catalogs. And what service catalogs do is allow us to create a service that can be used globally of a certain type, such as low priority, low latency, etc. So in this case, we're going to give this one a name of best effort, description, and a priority level of seven, which is our lowest priority in the network. We're also going to use the shortest IGP metric rather than the shortest TE metric, but there are other possibilities that we could use, such as lowest delay, lowest number of hops, etc. Under more options, we also have the capability of adding protection, 
to include certain nodes or interfaces or SRLGs within the topology or to exclude them. Once we've created a transport service, we'll simply save it and then this transport service is available for us to configure for any of our customers. In this case, best effort, exit with the lowest priority, it will be set for priority seven. Currently, there are no subscribers associated with this. Once I've created an entry in the service catalog, what I want to do now is add a subscriber to it. So in this case, we're going to take a look at our subscriber page. We don't have any current subscribers. So from here, what I can do is by pressing create new, I can create a new subscriber. So the subscriber can be anything that I want it to be. In this case, we're just going to call it test subscriber. Once I've created this, I now have a test subscriber that I can add to a service. By clicking on the services button, it takes me to a service page that allows me to create a service associated with this subscriber. Here's the best effort that we had before, just by clicking on this and assigning it. Now I need to create a path. So if you remember, we were looking at the Mumbai router, going to Gurgaon, and we'll give it 15 megabits per second as the capacity. It shows me the path here from Mumbai PE6 to Gurgaon. If I want to see more details about that, I can look at what each of the hops are, what the interfaces are, and the destination nodes are. If I want to see more about the IGP path, since we said this would be on the IGP path, I can see that here with the green arrows across the topology showing the IGP path associated with that. I also have more options here. So I can put paths or nodes to exclude SRLGs, etc., that I don't want within my topology or to include specific ones. If I want to offer protection, I can put that in here. And general is for descriptive information. I can also use segment routing. So instead of RSVPTE, I can also use and create this tunnel using segment routing. In our case, we're going to be using RSVPTE. Once we've defined our tunnel and we're ready to provision it, we can simply press the provision button. You can see the path is being added. We can see the details of this in the MDSO web UI. Here's the succeed state for our test subscriber and the path that that represents. By leveraging an up-to-the-minute view of the multi-vendor IP MPLS network, the Blue Planet MPLS network automation solution provides several positive business outcomes. It allows you to turn up new VPN services or network slices in minutes, lower the capex of your MPLS network through greater efficiency afforded by more accurate engineering, lower the opex of tunnel provisioning, and increase revenues through faster turn-up and by enabling new transient on-demand services.